Hi, my name is Julia and I'm going to walk you through how to get started with Steel.js in just a few minutes. Alright, so we're going to start off uh, by going into our terminal, tutorials, and we're going to make a directory for our new project. So I'm just going to call it getting started. Right, and then we'll use npm init to initialize the project and we'll just go ahead with all of the defaults. Alright. Uh, and then we're going to run the command npm install steel dash dash save dev. What this will do is save steel as a dev dependency in our package.json. All right, uh, and then we'll do npm install jQuery and dash dash save. So this will save it as a regular dependency. So let's open our getting started project. So here's our package.json. It has a dev dependency of the latest uh, with the latest version of Steel and a regular dependency of the latest version of jQuery. We're going to add one more config. It's going to be system and do npm ignore and pass in dev dependencies. And what this will do is it will just let Steel know to ignore our dev dependencies when it's doing its module loading. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is create our index.html file. Okay, I'm just going to I just paste it in an uh, existing file I was already working with and all this does is we add a script tag in with uh, where it's loading steel from our node modules and then it's going to let steel know what our main application file is with this data main attribute and we're letting it know that main will be our main file. So let's create a new file, we'll call it main.js and then we'll do import dollar sign from jQuery. So we're using ES6 syntax to import the jQuery model. Right. Assign uh, body dot append. Let's do H1 tags and we'll say hello world. So let's save this. And Go back to terminal. I'm going to run the command HTTP server. This is a node module that you can install globally. Um, and all it does is it serves up the directory that you're working in. Alright, so it's serving it at my local host on port 8080. So here we are in the browser. We'll refresh. And we have a hello world appended to the body. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's just do some a little bit more ES6 magic. We're going to create a function. We'll name it Adam up. And we'll use the spread operator. So we're going to get a bunch of ints, an array of ints. Um, so Let results equal zero, and then we'll use our for of iterator. So for let i of int and results plus equals i. So all we're doing is adding all of uh, the numbers that we pass in together. We'll do return, oops, return results. So we save that file. Oh, sorry, one last thing. 
I'll do dollar body dot append and I'll do it inside let's do it inside an h2 tag add them up and I'll just do 1 through 10 h2 save it Go over to our Chrome, refresh, and there you go. We have 55 appended to the page. And yeah, that's basically all you need to know to get started running uh, Steel, doing live module loading, and using ES6 syntax. So anything that Tracer uh, supports, you can use now in Steel. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Awesome.